Today is Sunday. It is raining outside and I am exhausted. Yesterday I had to tear apart and rebuild a fence between me and my neighbors because all the slats were starting to fall apart and I think I did about a million lunges and a million and a half squats. So my legs are pretty much dead. And that means my garage is in a mess because I didn't have enough energy to clean it up yesterday. So I've got two things I want to do today. The first one is getting the garage cleaned up. This is a bookcase that I'm currently working on. Another video on that coming up. And I have some truck parts that I want to show off. So we're going to set up the camera. We're going to do a quick time lapse. Then I will show you the box of goodies I got. Now that the shop is clean, the last thing to do is to open up this package of transmission parts and then enjoy the rest of my weekend. I tell you what, I am exhausted. Um, and I also went back and watched the time lapse and I'm really happy with the settings of the time lapse, but I'm not happy with the fact that it didn't pull focus at all through that entire process. So sorry for the blurry time lapse. I will eventually figure out how to use this camera correctly and once that happens all these snafus will slowly diminish. Um, but let's open this up. I'm also going to take this time to kind of give you an update about what is going on with the truck. To kind of give a little backstory, I originally started this truck because I wanted a alternative to the Tacoma because the Tacoma's lease was going to end and I wanted to stop putting miles on it. and. Um, that didn't happen because I took the entire truck apart. Because I took the entire truck apart and I always wanted kind of a large truck project, um, ooh, a box in a box. Um, I kind of set ambitious goals for the truck project, but in the back of my mind, I always had interests in different types of vehicles. When I set the goals for the truck, <clears throat> I had things like the, the goofy transfer case idea. I wanted to do something with the intake, switch out the vane airflow sensor and go to a manifold air pressure sensor. So I was going to create some kind of like electric circuit to do the translation from the new sensor to the older signal. Do some really interesting stuff with the interior, um, like put controls on the steering wheel for steer volume up and volume down, all that kind of stuff. And the last thing was I wanted to make an automatic windshield wiper, um, basically carbon copy the idea uh, from the um, Project Blinky series. But all that changed when I got the Silverado. I was able to get the Silverado two months before the uh, Tacoma's lease was up. So I just had the Tacoma sitting there for two months without putting any mileages. So instead of being over the mileage by close to 5,000 miles, I was only over the mileage by about a thousand. So I didn't have to worry about the mileage on the Tacoma. Also, the idea of having a truck that was just the kind of around town vehicle to get better gas mileage and all that kind of stuff went out the window because I have a diesel and the new inline six diesel on the Silverado gets 30 miles to the gallon on the highway and all of my driving in city, I get about 25 miles to the gallon per tank. And that is huge on the Tacoma, which is a truck that is three quarter the size. I got 17, 16 to 17 miles to the gallon. Now I'm getting 25. So I don't anything less a different gasoline truck 
um, and different gasoline vehicles are going to have a hard time competing with the Silverado. The fact that I don't have the Tacoma anymore and I didn't go over the mileage and the fact that I have a very decent gas mileage truck, the need for the pickup is no longer a necessity. I'm not going to go through and do all those crazy modifications. I'm not going to do the transfer case. I'm just going to bolt on the manual transfer case on the back of the manual transmission. I'm going to put the engine back together exactly the way it is. And the cab interior is going to go back together the way it is as well. I will probably reupholster some of the seats. The only thing that I think I messed up on was I think I threw away some of the torsion suspension components for the front. So depending on how hard it is to source those parts, I might actually do an upgrade and do coilovers on the front. The problem is I've only seen coilovers on the front with two wheel drive trucks and I have a four wheel drive truck. So I might be making my own parts. I've seen a lot of them where they use the bottom A arm and then modify the top A arm to fit around. So that's a completely different subject for a different thing but that's just kind of the update about what's going on in the truck the bookshelf behind you that you kind of saw and the time lapse to finish i have a sofa table i want to build and there's another piece of furniture that i wanted to build actually no i think that might be it but once i'm done with that and since i have the two fabrication tables i will be pulling the frame back in i will be setting up some jigs to get everything located get everything fixed the way it needs to be i'll have the suspension mount locations laid out from the jigging and i'll have the truck bed location points laid out from the jigging as well so i'm just going to cut off the back and just start filling in the back and get it all repaired get it all painted and then start putting the truck back together but that's a couple months ahead of the future um i just wanted to show you the transmission parts i've got a couple of the bearings um i've got the seal kit more bearings um needle bearings and synchros so uh, i think these are all the right size one of them looks a little small so i'm going to pull the synchros over here So I'm happy with that. I've got all the transmission parts to start putting this back together. I do have one of the housings cleaned up and ready for paint. I will be getting the second one cleaned up and ready for paint as well. And I will get those painted. Um, basically any painting on this channel is going to be done off camera because I don't want to ruin any of my cameras. Any sandblasting is going to be done off camera as well. Um, so just know from here on out, those kind of steps are going to be skipped. So the next time you see this transmission, I'll have all the parts laid out. They'll be cleaned. I'll have the transmission housing parts painted um, and we'll be ready to put that together. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's still going to be a couple weeks out. But that's it for this one. I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.